All right. It's Monday morning. Actually, it's Monday afternoon now. And I meant to say hey at the restaurant. There's Chelsea. She's never been in one of my blog vlogs. She says she doesn't like to be in my vlogs. But she might actually sneak into them today. Don't turn your head, Chelsea Marie. She's adamant that she doesn't like to be in my vlogs. But it's okay. Because we went and had brunch and brunch. I had lunch. They had breakfast together. She's out of school today. Why are you out of school? Why are you being shy? She's not being Teach shy. Teach her something. So she's out of school today. So we just kind of spending time doing a few things today. We're going to, we went and ate and we're going to go by Babies R Us and we're going to pick out a stroller and car seat. Hopefully. So fun, fun. And then, uh, Maybe run a couple places today, but we're all in the car today, and look at that. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. That's trying to hide. Pinky Boo. That's Say hi. Do you know people watch this that want to meet you so bad? They do. They keep asking about you. That's my firstborn right there. She's so pretty. <laughs> She's so pretty. I don't know why she being shy because, ain't folks, she, she ain't dirty. shy. <laughs> she ain't shy at all. So I don't know why she being shy. But anyway, we're just running. So maybe we'll catch a couple glimpses here and there today. And uh, <laughs> she's so pretty. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. Do you get to go bye bye in the car? can see going to her pet store and she gets to go in this store she gets to go to the store today yes i do where are we going we're gonna go bye bye where are we going go bye bye go bye bye in the car oh we get to go bye bye yeah okay let's go let's go let's go where are we going we're going bye bye Oh, she might have to go boo. Hey, she might have to go potty. Is she out today? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Can I go bye bye? So, I didn't um, vlog today at all at Babies R Us, but um, we did get. A stroller and car seat. Let's see if we can take a peek real quick. Yes, this is what we got. We changed it to a different system. It has a bassinet that comes with it, and I never understood the bassinets, but apparently the bassinet turns into like a toddler seat. So, and it's a lightweight, very lightweight uh, stroller. So, should be easier to operate. So, we're just gonna get it put together. Oh, look at Divas. Diva! Where are we going? So, we're gonna go get her nails cut and go to the pet store and get something for dinner. Diva? She's overstimulated. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't go say hi. Okay. Let's All right, let's go. Car. It is. And then have you had an updated rabies vaccination? We had it here. Okay. Oh, she no, has the tag on. Tag. Back it up. <laughs> Let's go do your toes. 
<laughs> See, I'm okay. I just scared. She's worse than the back legs. She's worse than the back legs. Yeah, she don't like the back legs at all. I just wanted to show you all um, a couple things that I got this week. Um, I told myself I was going to do better about vlogging this week, but um, I've been sick the last couple nights, just like super sinusy and congested and runny nose and all that. And it's worse at night and it kind of lingers during the day. But I'm okay. <laughs> but um, we went to, uh, as you'll see, in yesterday's uh, video, I um, we went to Baby's RS yesterday, and we got our stroller and car seat. So I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to put it together, or for him to put it together. But um, it's a really pretty cool system, and I will do a video when we when we put it together, um, which might not even be this week. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's getting close. I feel like now that I have the car seat and the stroller, I'm ready. I'm ready for this baby to come. I'm not super, super, super miserable. I'm just super uncomfortable. And um, there, this is Tuesday and Thursday. I'll be 37 weeks. So um, at my 38-week appointment next week, of course, as you know, he's going to make a decision uh, based upon the weight. If it's what we think it's going to be, then he's going to go ahead and schedule a C-section, which I'm okay with So because I've completely given it to God. But anyway, real quick, yesterday we got that, and then I picked up a couple other things. Um, if any guys are watching, I'm sorry. Um, this is a very big part of, of children, childbearing. But anyway, there's my belly. Let me see if I can show you a little bit of my belly. He is, um, you know, my stomach goes all the way down here, but I've always been kind of heavy on top. You know, my stomach down here doesn't pooch out as much. But um, still, I'm wearing this shirt as much as possible because this is the <laughs> the next two weeks is I won't be able to wear it no more because there'd be no purpose to wear it. So I'm just wearing my pumpkin shirt as much as possible. But um, yeah, I'm super. You know, I walk and my belly does this. It's really a lot of fun. <laughs> but anyway, so yesterday I picked up um some of these. I'm hoping like in the, maybe the second week where I'm, I'm home, I'm gonna go ahead and order um my breast pump. Because I figure the first week or two, I'll be with him all the time. So, I'll be able to feed him whenever he wants to be fed. But, um, then I want to be able to pump for bottles so that I can go, you know, do something or somebody can feed him if I'm busy. But this is the, I'm looking, I want the Medela pump. I found it on Amazon. But, um, I went ahead and picked up some disposable, uh, nursing pads because I know that, um, soon as I give birth, I'll probably start needing these. Um, and I know they give them to you in the hospital, but I had extra money um, left over after the uh, car seat and stuff, so I thought I would just go ahead and pick them up while I was there. Um, and then this is something that I wanted because I know with breast milk, you have to keep it refrigerated. I mean, you have to keep it cool. And so if we go out during the day and I don't want to have to worry about feeding him, um, you know, if it's going to be inconvenient, like a church function or something like that, then I can go ahead and put a couple bottles in here. And it's one of those insulated, it even has like a freezer pack, but um, it's it's insulated and um, it's really cute and it'll fit. You can actually take this like and put it on your stroller or something, but I'll put it in my diaper bag. So I'm excited about that. So I got those yesterday and then um, we got home yesterday and there was a box. And, uh, so sweet, um, some of you may know my mother-in-law, Vicki, some of you do not, but her, uh, husband, Steve, his sister sent us some stuff and I've only met her once and it was been several years ago. So it was so sweet of her to send us some stuff. So I'm going to show you what she sent us. This is super cute. 
It's um, three months old, so he'll be in it in like three weeks. <laughs> but it's a little um, romp, like a onesie with sweatpants and a hoodie. And it says, um, Little Explorer. So super cute little winter outfits um, that I'm sure he'll be in soon. And then um, some bibs. Really cute little bibs. Um, for... I think I've got, um, I think I've got plenty of bibs now. I didn't have hardly any, and then I've, I've picked up several, um, since then. And then, uh, she made these little burp cloths. And this is actually, y'all, the same material that, um, Miss Sonya at the state office made me burp, she made me burp cloths and receiving blankets with. And so this is the same materials that she used, so they're all gonna match anyway. And they match, of course, my theme. So that's really cool. And then, um, two... Of the same material, the little gray elephants, receiving blankets, and then a real soft, um, I guess it's a receiving blanket. It's a, it's kind of a little bit bigger than, a, I guess it is a receiving blanket. It's not huge, but, um, it has little elephants and stuff and it's a different material. It's real soft. So I was just really super happy. Um, you know, and I'm going to send her a thank you card out this week because I was, um, just really surprised, like. We were we were down in Florida with them like just for a little bit and met them, and um, they came and visited Steve and Vicky and I just couldn't believe that she sent us something that was really nice of her. So um, I want to do something too real quick. Uh, you know everything is. Let me turn this around. So I'm not gonna do a nursery tour. There's my mobile. If y'all didn't see it before, I made this arm cover. And I ordered these off Etsy and put these on here. So anyway, but this this crib will be um, used maybe sometimes for naps or something. But um, of course at night he'll be sleeping with us in the bassinet for a while. I'm taking my memory, my baby book so they can put his footprints and handprints in it at the hospital. This is my hospital bag. I know you don't care what's in that. Um, and then this is the the diaper bag for the hospital. So we're ready to pretty much ready to go. Um, with all that. Uh, I wanted to show you real quick. Um, there's some clothes. It's mostly three to six month and some six to nine month. Um, this is a little shelf. This is my pregnancy test that I tested positive with. And this is a cute little picture frame that somebody got me. And uh, some of our stuff. Of course, the changing pad. This is the best in that sheet. I haven't put it on there yet. These are size one diapers, um, but I do have like um, powder and baby lotion and sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm very fat and wipes and that kind of thing. But in the top drawer, I have extra newborn just in case he fits into them. And then I have newborns in this hanging thing. Um, this is all bibs and burp cloths. And this is a privacy cover for nursing that um, Miss Mary made me, which I'm so happy for. And then I'll be adding to this with the stuff I got from um, Steve's sister today, or yesterday. So, I got plenty of that stuff, I think. Um, and in the top drawer, I have all... This is all um, sleeping blankets, uh, footed pajamas. Uh, this is be great stuff for it, the cool weather. These are gowns, the little gowns with the elastic on the bottom. I have a couple of those in my hospital bag as well. So those are great. This is probably what he'll live in most. That's why I have him on the top drawer uh, when he comes home. This is um, this is all I have for newborn. It's not much, but I don't think I'll need much because I don't even know if he'll fit. So this is like just a couple of newborn things. Hardly anything. This is all I have for zero to three months. So we'll kind of kind of see you know, and judge. I have so much three to six month. I have boxes of stuff that people gave me other than what's in here and even up there. So I have so much three to six that I'm not too worried about zero to three because I think he'll get into it pretty quick. This is a this is some three to six month stuff that I think he'll fit in pretty quick. A little Thanksgiving outfit and stuff like that. Oh, wait, no. And then the bottom drawer, oops. The bottom drawer is some more blankets. I have a ton of blankets up here. <laughs> And then this is more 
blankets and diapers and wipes put away. I have more in the closet and then more downstairs. Um, I have several, a few hooded towels and bath robes and cute stuff like that. Um, here, these are all, same, you'll see the same print. This is the ones that Steve's sister sent me. And you'll notice they're the same as some that have already been made for me. So I'm super excited about that. But this is just filled with receiving blankets and swaddles down here. So, that's kind of what my, let me unhook this. This drawer pulls out, so I have tons of bath stuff and, uh, you know, medicinal stuff and, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. Uh, baby Q-tips, baths, pacifiers, all the bottle tops for the different ages, just kind of miscellaneous stuff. Shoved in there. So, uh, and then this bag, um, right now is just like toys security blankets, you know, that kind of thing that, um, I have put away. So we are ready for Harrison David. I think, I can't think of anything else that I need to do. So now I'm super out of breath, but, um, I think we're ready. I mean, sorry, I apologize that I'm out of breath, but it has something to do with this belly, this eight pounder in me. He's at least eight pounds right now. So, next week he'll probably be nine something. And if he is, we're going to have a baby soon. He's going to schedule it. So, um, I'll, like I said, I'll insert some pictures that I've taken of the nursery. Uh, just so you can kind of see it from not shaking and moving and that kind of thing. But um, I think we're ready. Uh, I'm excited. I'm ready. I think I'm mentally, I think I'm mentally ready for him to come. Um... I've enjoyed being pregnant so much. I really have. I have really enjoyed this experience. It was a once in a lifetime experience and God gave it to me and I truly feel blessed. And so now I'm ready to see him. And uh, I know that's a whole nother challenge. Um, I hope I'm up for the challenge, but uh, I'm super excited. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping that I feel like when we go to the hospital, doing some videos, um, just to kind of capture the moment and how I feel and that kind of stuff. I don't know if Sean will be able to stomach taking video while we're in surgery or, 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 I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be surgery unless he comes early, but I'm hoping that Sean will take some pictures and video, but I don't know if he'll fill up to it or not. He's not real strong stomached, but I do hope to capture some of those initial emotions. So my phone ran out of space. Lovely iPhones. I wish I kind of had a camera. Like, I've said I don't need a camera anymore because, um, you know, our phones do everything. But I don't have very much storage on my phone. So what I have to do is I have to take my videos, clips, and I have to upload them to my YouTube account and then delete them off my phone every single day I make one. So um, if I'm going to keep on vlogging, which I really hope to, um, for friends and family who care to see um, our lives, I hope that even after the baby's born, I can keep vlogging at least once a week. Um, <clears throat> it's updates, kind of just um, showing everybody that don't live here what's going on. But um, if I do that, I kind of need a camera, I think. <laughs> a camera with a bigger memory card. I didn't think I needed those anymore, but apparently I, I will. I'm going to keep on vlogging, which I really enjoy. Um... I've been hesitant to put it on YouTube, be, I mean on uh, Facebook, just because I didn't know if I wanted that many people seeing my personal life, and I'm still thinking about it, at least giving people an option to go and subscribe or look at my channel, um, but I have kept up with um, our pregnancy from the second trimester on, um, on on my channel, so those are all there, but um, I uh, definitely got to rethink the whole phone camera thing because it's kind of inconvenient because <laughs> I have to upload them on YouTube then delete them off my phone so I can take another video which I just had to do I just took three videos clips and had to <sighs> upload them so I could take more but anyway this is kind of longer I think um what I'm going to do with this is go ahead and upload or edit this video and um uh send it out and then do another one for the update on Friday so I might do two this week because this one's kind of long but I just kind of wanted to share what's going on and some of the updates of stuff that we've, well, 
we've gotten and and kind of where we're at because we're just really right there. Um, next Friday, uh, we may be scheduling a C-section, so we're just really right there. Um, I like sitting in here um, and rocking. I'll probably spend a lot of time in here, but I like it because this is my um, view. This is our backyard. I've shown you before, but I don't know if you can see it real well. But um, there's this, this huge, beautiful tree, just a big tree. And, um, you know, I really like just sitting here and rocking and looking out the window. And then I got my, like, little stand here to sit my pop and babas or whatever I had to put on there. And so, um, I'm super happy how I, at first, I didn't plan on really caring that much about a theme for a nursery and all that. Um, and then the only thing I had was just yellow and gray and a little bit of elephant. And yellow and gray just kind of popped into my head from the first time I found out I was pregnant. And so I kind of just stayed with it. And when people would ask me, I would say, the only thing I'm thinking about is yellow and gray. And so um, I was super happy how it all turned out. And it just feels great in here. And I can't wait. Um, even when he becomes a toddler, it's a little bitty, 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 bitty room. But um, I think it, I think it'll work. So super excited. Um... That's about it for now. I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to talk about. Oh, I showed you guys the clothes on top of there that's mostly three to six. I showed you guys the clothes that's in the um in his drawers. That's that's his drawers. And then that's Sean's drawers. And that's Sean's closet. <laughs> and he doesn't have a closet. So I do have an over the door hook um in here. And so I've got a few outfits that are bigger um, hanging up here. So these are his. So like this is the this is all stuff that he won't wear for a while. This he might. This is three to six. Cute little khaki pants and shirt. But this is sorry, excuse me. This is six months, and like most of this is like six to nine months or nine months. So this is like just outfits that he won't wear for a while. So I haven't washed them or anything. I just kind of keep them hanging up there. Um, and then, like, he has books. Excuse the mess, because that, that's a trash bag. I have to throw it away. But, um, that's all his books. So, he already has a little collection of books. And so, it won't be too many more months that we can read. So, that's going to be fun. Hmm. So, that's kind of, um, you know, where we're at. Now, we're just going to wait for him. So, this is, uh, this is kind of where, what we look like in here. Um... I got this rug off of overstock.com and it turned out pretty good. It's a little bit different color of yellow than the curtains and stuff. But, um, uh, of course we have stuff stored like underneath everything. Um, but I like it. I think it's kind of classy. So, so that's where we're at. I will try to, uh, I'm home today. Sean is in Fenton. And doing something. Anyway, um, I'm home alone today. Um, and so, hopefully, I'll edit this video. I'm ironing board, for lack of a better place for it. Um, hopefully, I'll get this video edited and up. Maybe out this evening, so you guys can see it. Um, and then, I'll probably do a quick one on Friday on the way home. Just kind of what the doctor said. Just kind of an update. Um, I don't know if he'll check for progress or anything. but Because uh, I really haven't had any changes so he might not so it might this might be the bulk of the video for the week but a little early so that's it so hey guys i wanted to real quick um tell you how to find all my videos on youtube um i only have a few subscribers and it's mostly family and friends um and i haven't put myself out there for everyone to see um and i'll probably only upload this video right here um but if it's something that you're interested in um, keeping up with us and keeping up with the baby when it gets here and you can go back and see all of my pregnancy vlogs, um, you're welcome to do that. Um, I didn't want to push myself out there too much, but um, I'm just going to upload this video and if you're interested, you can subscribe to my channel if you have your own account. And that's really easy. It's just social media. It's like having a Facebook account or a Twitter account. Um, you just sign up for an account. Um, and it's, it kind of works with your Gmail and Google. 
And so um, you can subscribe to my channel and it'll email you and let you know. It'll give you a notification when I upload a new video. Um, or you can just kind of keep checking back at your own um, at your own convenience. And so I'm just going to insert a couple pictures of what my face, my YouTube account looks like. Um, so that you can kind of recognize it if you see it. But you just type in Lynette Hit and it should pull up. So if you have any problems or questions or need any help in finding me, just send me a message um, on Facebook and uh, I'll help you out and see if I can't help you out and find it. Um, but I just kind of wanted to put one video out there for everybody to see and um, I didn't want to push it too hard, but wanted to let you have the opportunity to keep up with us if you wanted to, especially for all of our family and friends who don't live near us and have a clue what's going on. Um, and you may not be interested and that's perfectly fine. But if you're interested in um, my pregnancy through the summer and fall and then like um, what's coming up with the baby, then um, I wanted to give you an opportunity to do that. We love you guys.